Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and I uh, wanted to talk about a uh, app that is actually getting more and more attention. Not only do I give it more attention because I love it, but also it is an app that has actually been downloaded hundreds of millions of times on um, the Google Play Store. If you have an Android phone and a Windows 10 PC, um, especially if you have uh, Bluetooth enabled on your PC and on your phone and actually pair the two, uh, there's a app called Your Phone. So you can actually find it in the start menu or you can just type Your Phone and you will see Your Phone app uh, that will actually show up. You can click on it and it is a work in progress so as time evolves there's more and more stuff happening with this app so as you see here on the upper left galaxy s9 plus my phone is linked to it you have photos you have messages you have notifications and calls now for some reason the uh, screen mirroring has is disappeared from my app but it's it seems that it's not everybody that has it missing only part of us have this missing but um, it's a very complete app uh, the fun part about it is that so as it's updated there's more and more features that are happening if you're connected to your Wi-Fi you have access to the last 25 pictures of your phone in some cases one of the testing that they're doing right now in some cases you might even have up to a a thousand pictures available which is really nice because it gives you an access to the last pictures if, you, if you're like me and take constantly take pictures with your smartphone it's really cool and it's such an easy way to actually um, you know take a picture and download it to your PC you can just snap a picture open your phone app it's just gonna appear over there you click on that picture and you can save as you can print you can share every uh, email and so on from your Windows PC. Now you can share from your phone, but the save as functionality is what is what I use the most, meaning that I can save a local copy of a picture that I just took on my PC. Uh, of course, messages has to do with text messaging. Not only do you actually interact with text messaging, see the text messages you've received, but also you can actually answer them from your computer. And that's been something I've been using a lot. I receive a text message. I just type in a response in my PC, send it. Not even I don't even have to actually pick up my phone to do it, which is really nice. Then you've got notifications. You can actually set up all sorts of notifications. So when your phone has a notification about something, it's going to actually pop up in the bottom right in the Action Center on your Windows 10 PC. It's again kind of nice because you can see what's happening. And now the newest feature that works really well is calls. You can actually receive and send calls from any Android phone that is compatible to your Windows 10 PC. You can even answer through Windows through your PC if you have a microphone. So this is really nice because it really adds a lot of functionalities. It's something that I uh, really am using a lot, honestly. And most people that actually, even people that never thought they would actually use it, seem to, once they try it a little bit, they start thinking, you know what? This is actually really cool, and I use it more than I, I, I thought I would use it. And I, I find it to be one of the great features that's been added recently to Windows. So what do you need to actually have that working? Well, you need your phone app. That should already be on your PC. If it's not, you can find it in the Microsoft Store and just download your phone app. On your Android phone, you'll have to go to the Google Play Store and get your phone companion. This is going to create the link between your phone and your Windows PC. you got to be connected to the same Wi-Fi in your home. And uh, although some functionalities will actually work even if you're not connected to Wi-Fi. And of course, uh, pair your uh, phone with your computer using Bluetooth. That will actually activate more functionalities. If you don't have Bluetooth, 
it's still worth it to actually use your phone companion because some functionalities still work. Uh, notifications, you'll have the um, you'll have the pictures that you can actually download to your PC easily. So that actually works even if you don't have Bluetooth. But if you have Bluetooth, you'll have the calls. And in some cases, you might even have screen mirroring. Uh, you need a Microsoft account for all of this to work. So you have to have and be logged into Microsoft account on your Windows 10 PC and the same Microsoft account on your phone companion app on your Android phone. And once all that is done, you will enjoy amazing, um, you know, interaction with your phone and your Windows computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.